For practice it, self-check 5.5, random range A, B, C, D, E. We're to consider the following code, and this has to deal with random numbers. So to get a random number, we need to use the random um, class. Just like the scanner class or the print stream class, we have random, and then we have any name that we can come up with. And then we set this equal to new random, and inside of that we have our parentheses, or behind that we have parentheses in a semicolon. So this is declaring the line. This is similar to like a scanner, where we have where we would have a scanner, and then some num some name for it, any name like scan. And we set this equal to new random with or <laughs> new scanner with parentheses in a semicolon. So very similar to that. But now we're looking at random numbers. So this makes a random number. When we have an int a, this is just a um, way to store it. So int is the type, a is the variable that this is being stored in. So we have rand.nextInt, so this gets the next random integer. And we automatically, um, it's standard that we go from zero to something. And this something is whatever is in here. So we're going to go to zero, from zero to 100, but we're not going to touch 100. So we're really going from zero to 99. We go one less than what's in here. When we have something like this, where we have um, next int 20, if we just had this 20, we would be going from zero to 20. However, since we have this 50 in here, this plus 50, which actually could be moved out front. I prefer it to actually be moved out front. So it's 50 plus rand.nextint20. And with this plus 50, we're actually starting at 50, and then we are adding 20 onto that. So that means we're gonna go to 70, but we don't touch 70 because we don't touch what's in here. So we're gonna end at 69. For C, since we have nothing outside of here, like this 50, we're automatically gonna start at zero and then we're just going to look inside of here. We have 20 plus 50, which is 70. So we're gonna to go to 70, but not touch it. So we're gonna stop at 69. So we have zero to 69. Next out here, we have the same thing, just like in int B for int D. We are starting at negative 20, and we are going until we hit 100 more than our negative 20, just like this was 20 more than our 50. So 100 more than our negative 20 would be 80. So we're gonna go to 80, but not touch 80. So we're gonna hit 79. Next, we have this int e, and that's equal to random.next int 10 times four. So this is a little bit different. We have 10 times four. However, we're, since it's, it's multiplication, it's a little bit different than this plus. We're gonna start at zero, and we are gonna go to 40 because we have 4 times 10 but again since we are 10 is in here we're not going to touch it so we're going to go to z from 0 to 40 but we're not touching it however since this is multiplication it's not that easy and we don't just go from 0 to 20 we go from or er, from 0 to 40 we go from 0 to 40 again not touching 40 but we're going by multiples of this number whatever is being multiplied so we're in in this case we're going by multiples of four so we're going to have zero comma four eight twelve sixteen twenty twenty four twenty eight thirty two thirty six and again since 40 is our last thing because of this 10 we are going to 40 but we're not touching 40 so we're just going to stop at 36. if we submit this we have passed all of the tests, and this is a simple way of how to go about using the random class.